Welcome to Monday Masterclass, where this week I'll be showing you three reasons why you should be using Theme Builder instead of relying on themes to customize your website. What we have here is a page that I've put together for this masterclass. I thought it might be a good excuse to try out our latest template kit for travel agencies and travel booking sites. Right now, I'd like to take a moment to briefly show what happens to the template when we change the theme. Now, as we explained, the theme is what we call the structure that defines where certain parts of content always appear, while the template defines the way it might look. So here is our site's blog page. The only thing we've done so far is insert the blog template from the Travel and Tour Kit using Elementor. As you can see, we're still missing the site header. So what I'd like to do right now is create our header by using the Theme Builder feature to our advantage. To do that, we'll open the Elementor Finder using Command or Control E on our keyboard. We'll search for the Theme Builder and select it. Now, as you can see, we're basically back in the WordPress dashboard, and in the Templates tab, we are in the Theme Builder feature. Now, this is what we'll use to create and customize all of our theme elements, and you'll soon see why. We'll begin with our header. We'll click on the Add New button. We'll select the type of element that we want, a header. We'll give it a name, and click on Create Template. We'll select the header template that comes with the kit that we're currently using and insert it. And we're back in the warm, familiar Elementor editor where we can customize our header the same way that we would anything else in Elementor. Once we're happy with our unique header, we'll come down the page and click here to publish it. Now, notice that we get this conditions window that gives us even more control over the element's appearance and functionality. And we'll use it now to add a condition to be include the entire site, which I suppose is self-explanatory, and then click on Save. We'll go to the blog page that I've left open in a separate tab and see how our header appears exactly the way that we wanted it to. But if we go back to the WordPress dashboard, in the Appearance tab, we can see that the Hello theme is currently active. And I prefer to use this theme not because it's published by Elementor, but because it was designed to be exactly what the designer needs, a blank, unrestricting canvas. Now, let's see an example of what happens to our page when we change the theme to, let's say, Storefront, that we get with the WooCommerce plugin. Now, notice how the theme forces the text and images into predefined boxes, which is fine if that's what you want. And even if it is, the moment there's an update, these definitions might change. However slightly, they will affect our site. Let's try another example and change the theme to Office Press. Again, the sections are moved around and reorganized. And if we activate WordPress's 2016 theme, we see that our design is almost unrecognizable. WordPress sites and blogs must use a theme. As with most things, there are pros and cons to using themes, and that's what inspired creating the Hello theme. All the pros without the cons. It carries no definitions that can skew or cram our content into spaces. It acts as a fresh blank canvas for any templates and designs that we want to place on it. And as for the elements, such as headers, footers, pop-ups, etc., we use the Theme Builder to customize them any way that we want without the worry of them changing as a result of the changes to a theme. A second great advantage of building elements in Theme Builder is that we can create several variations of elements and assign them to specific attributes such as categories. Let's suppose that on my travel site, most of my business comes from customers looking for family trips or customers looking to book romantic getaways. To help draw visitors, I publish a blog where the posts are categorized by relevance to either family or romantic vacations. As such, I'd like the appearance of each type of blog post to have a distinct feel, which is 
I suppose, reasonable. We have two types of clients searching for different types of product. And the last thing most couples on romantic escapes want is to be joined by a foray of overexcited families. This is what the blog post page looks like now with a couple of fake posts that we created earlier. Back in the theme builder feature, we can see all of the elements that we've created for our website. We can use this menu to edit, export, etc. just the same as everything else that we're used to doing with Elementor and WordPress. For now, we'll click on the Add New button and go down here to the drop-down menu where we can really appreciate the list of elements that we can create in Theme Builder. We can use this to create a footer in the exact same way as we did a header. But instead, let's do something a little different and create a single page. Notice that as soon as I select this option, another drop-down menu appears, and here we'll select the Post option. We'll give it a name, and click on Create Template. We don't have to choose a template here. We could build our single page completely from scratch, but this way we can save some time and we'll select a template to work off of and insert it. Again, everything in this single page element is customizable. We'd like to have a single page for each category, but we still want to maintain some aesthetic consistency throughout our site. So, just some minor changes. We'll give each category a more appropriate slogan or title. And we'll change the color of some of the layout elements. And we'll save. When we publish this here in Elementor, we'll see this conditions page again, which offers us loads of options. For example, we could select the option to assign this design to all posts or just to posts written by a certain author. But we'll set this template to appear on pages with posts from a certain category and then select the relevant category and save. Once we've created a second similar single page and assigned it to our second category, we'll just take a look at the distinctions. However slight, they are quite effective. Notice we didn't use a single line of code. Creating elements in Theme Builder is just the same as the way that we build pages in Elementor. It's all a matter of positioning widgets and assigning the conditions using drop-down menus. Another area that we've noticed WordPress users having difficulty is adding buttons and other dynamic properties to theme elements. Again, the best way to customize things like pop-ups and footers, etc., without getting bogged down with code is by using the theme builder. To prove my point, let's edit our header using the theme builder. Now, in the editor panel, we'll locate the social button widget and drag it over to the heading. The theme builder was purposely designed based on the Elementor builder to keep it both simple and familiar and make life easier for users. We'll just quickly customize it so it looks like part of the original design. We'll update it and now we'll check it out on the preview mode and it looks great. All that's left to do if we haven't done so already in the Elementor settings is to connect the links to the buttons. However essential these elements are to our website, they are just a few of the list of elements that we can create and customize in Theme Builder, making them completely independent of the theme that we chose for our page, and with all the flexibility and ease of the Elementor Builder. My colleagues and myself are forever using Theme Builder because we find that it saves us so much time by keeping us focused on the build rather than spending time looking for themes and templates. And this way we also get things exactly the way that we wanted and there are no surprises later on. If you use Theme Builder and have your own bag of tips and tricks and advice that could help other users, then by all means, please share them in the comments below. After all, our goal is to be the best at helping others excel at their craft. And if you've enjoyed this masterclass and you'd like to join our community to see and learn more on subjects like design, marketing and web building for WordPress, make sure that you click on the subscribe button and tap that bell so that you don't miss out on our next masterclass. Thanks for watching. Cheers.